counters, counters, counters using StreamerBot. Those can be a great way to generate interaction and maintain audience retention. Let's say you're playing a pretty difficult video game and you keep dying in the game. You would have something like a death counter and your viewers would want to pay more attention just so they can update that death counter. Now it's the most common, but you can also have, I don't know, a sneeze counter. I know people that have a burp counter, hiccup counter, but the truth is you can count anything. This video where I'm going to show you how to come up with a death counter is pretty much an excuse to show you how in my previous chat mini game, I actually implemented counters so that it saves the results of chat opening those loot boxes and tells you exactly how many of each knife you got. Let's jump into it. All right, how to make a death counter using StreamerBot. Under the action tab, we're going to add a new action and let's name it appropriately. Death counter. Then click OK. Now under sub actions, what we're going to do is create a variable. So variables are a tiny piece of code that you put in the form of text that usually brings up data. For example, in StreamerBot, if you type this in any part of text in a sub action, it will replace that with the name of the person who redeemed whatever action this is in. So that is a variable, except it's like a default variable that StreamerBot already has. You can create your own and that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to core and under globals, I'm going to click on global get. This is made to basically retrieve information from a variable, but you can also create the variable straight from here. So here it says source. You want to keep it on global and that's because it's going to be a global thing. Anyone who's able to type exclamation mark death, for example, can update the whole variable. It's not something that is user specific. OK, variable name. We're going to call it D counter destination variable D counter and we'll set the default value to zero. That's where it starts. Basically, now we need something to tell it, hey, go up by increments of one every time someone types that command. So we're going to right click, go to core. We're going to go to globals and now we're going to go to global set under variable name. We're going to type the name of our variable. It is case sensitive. You want to type the exact same way. And then here where it says argument, you want to click on that and actually set it to increment and you want to bump it up by increments of one. You can put whatever you want, but you know, all right. Now this is the part where you might want to have a response in chat. When someone brings up that command, what's going to happen? Depending on which platform you're on, if it's YouTube, you just go to YouTube, send message to channel. If it's Twitch, well, you go to Twitch, chat, send message to channel. And this is where you would type something like, Gil has died. And now we want the number, right? So we're going to put percent D counter percent times. Click OK. All right. Now it's time to create the command, the actual trigger. So under triggers here, we're going to right click. We're going to go to core commands, command triggered. Since we don't have a command already, we're going to create command. And now sure you can see everything. We're going to name this uh, the counter. The count under command is the actual words you want people to type. In this case, something like exclamation mark death. If you're on YouTube, don't forget to tick this. And then you can play around with the permissions. Uh, I always advise you to put a little cooldown so that people don't abuse it. If anyone can type it and let's say you die and like five people type it all at once, it doesn't add like five to it, right? It'll take into account one and then there will be a 10 second cooldown before anyone else can update it. All right, click OK, click OK, and uh, you should be done. Now let's pull up my chat to see if it works. So if I go in chat right now and I type exclamation mark death and it says I died zero times, which is fine because we're just testing it, make sure it works. But now the next time someone types it, there you go. You can also set it to be one by default if you want. But at the first time someone redeems it, it actually displays one. That's your choice. Now, let's say you want to reset it, right? Well, you can just use another command for that. Just add another command and call it death reset. Under triggers, we want a command, right? So commands for a trigger, we want a command. So core commands, command triggered, create a new command. It's the death reset. Call this one death reset. So exclamation mark uh, death reset. For the permissions, you can probably set it so that only you and your mods can trigger it. Boom. So we have our trigger and under sub action, we want to go to global set right there. Remember the name of your variable D counter. And uh, I believe we can set it to value and set that to let's set it to one this time. Okay. Now 
technically you're done. <laughs> but if you want to confirm that it went through, you can make it say something in chat like, hey, the death counter has been reset. So Twitch chat, send message to channel. The death counter has been set to zero, even though that's a that's a lie. <laughs> what I'm going to do is um, trigger it a couple more times or oh, no. OK, let's say I died three times. Now I can do exclamation mark uh, death reset. OK, death counter has been set to zero. So right now, no deaths. And in the next death that I get, exclamation mark death, someone types that. There we go. All right, so the extra tip here is it doesn't have to be someone is triggering that increment, right? You can have a command, a soft, a quote unquote soft command that is basically checking chat for a specific emote, for example. You also don't need to have it say something in chat. It can be counting in the background the whole time. Let's say someone is using Kappa, right? And you want to count how many times Kappa has been used. You can make a command that's basically Kappa. So you just type the name of the emote, no exclamation mark. And then where it says location, you just set that to anywhere. So anywhere in so anywhere in chat where it says the word Kappa or the emote, it'll count it. In this case, you don't want any cooldowns. You would just click OK. Uh, here, for example, I would change the name of the variable. You want to keep cool names for your variables, cool names, uh, explicit names for your variables. And I'm going to disable the chat message like this. All right. So now I have a secret Kappa counter <laughs> that no one knows about, but it's going to be counting in the background. And of course, I can have a separate action with a separate command asking streamer about, hey, how many times people use Kappa? And in this case, it would be like Kappa has been, I'm just overriding the old action, use for the value uh, K counter times. Of course, in this case, I didn't make a separate one. So the next Kappa I, I type, it should, first of all, I should enable it. <laughs> Otherwise, it doesn't work. There you go. Next Kappa, it should tell me. Oh, yeah, I forgot the increment right there. Global increment uh, should be K counter. Very important. Remember those steps. There we go. <laughs> this is so silly. Anyways, all of that, all of that, just so I can show you that counter I made for the knife game. So in case you missed it, last video, I have a small chat game where people can type a command and basically open cases of rare knives on stream. And uh, and this is what the action looks like. I have bronze, silver, gold, diamond, titanium. What I've done is create a separate action. Of course, the trigger here is a command called knife count for anyone who wants to pull how many knives they've pulled in the past. And I went and create multiple variables, B count, S count, G count, D count, T count, basically bronze, silver, gold, diamond, titanium. This user's chest has this amount of bronze knives, this amount of silver knives, this amount. But how is it counting for each, right? Keeping in mind that the previous action looks like this. All I had to do is basically add an increment to each of them. Right. So inside of bronze, you're going to see an increment of one on the B count, which is the bronze count. Right. It's right there. So in this action, if bronze is what it lands on, it will bump up your increment by one. The only thing is it's not global. It's per user. Right. So that variable, the B count is going to be different for everyone. And the way I did that is by, as you can see here, get user specific redeemer B count. And you can find that right there in the get global variable. It's right there. Instead of global, you go user redeemer. That's it. To be clear, it's still get global variable. So still core globals, global get. And for the actual groups, it's still global set, except the destination here is still user redeemer. So it's per user. And then you're going to keep it on persisted. Uh, and I believe that will basically keep the count for forever. I think <laughs> it's not going to it's not going to delete it. This is stuff that I'm learning as I go. But anyways, increments of one. So now if someone types exclamation mark uh, knife count, they have this mess. Why is it looking weird now? There it is. OK, so you can see I have uh, one bronze, one silver. Um, let me play the animation for you so you can get the whole experience. So let's say I decide to pull right now. Okay, we just got a bronze knife. Oh, I also set it so that it says 
uh, what kind of knife you got in chat. So it says, hey, yeah, level got a bronze knife. So my previous number of bronze was one. So now if I type knife count, it should say two. And this is like individual. I haven't tested this on stream yet. <laughs> I hope that's right, actually. Also, what's going on with the emojis, man? Like, why is it a struggle to display like very basic emojis? I'm losing my mind. Anyways, that's how you do counters. <laughs> and also that's how you implement. Uh, oh, there it is. What? Oh, why does it take 20 seconds to load emojis, brother? Uh, that's how you implement the knife counter. Make sure you follow me on Twitch if you want to see that thing in action. Let's go, we got silver. Now we can do the count and it should be two bronze, two silver. And there it is, two bronze, two silver. So, so far it's working as intended. Uh, same thing for the chat here. If you're wondering, oh, how did you make it say in chat what you got? So what I did is place right after making the knife text visible on screen. I have a Twitch message here that says user, the name of the person who redeemed it, got a bronze knife. That's going to be in the bronze group. In the silver group, it's going to say user got a silver knife. So whatever it lands on, the, the text is going to be appropriate. So I had to go in and just duplicate those and modify them and put them in each group. If you haven't seen the other video, um, those the assets are free, so you can actually set that up pretty easily. And uh, turn on that notification bell. Subscribe. Do it. <laughs>